Hi everyone, this is Dr. Nitin Choda with Ignition Time and welcome to my channel. Thank you so much for being a viewer, for being a subscriber. I really appreciate you. If you learn something new from this video, please consider clicking the subscribe button. Please enable notifications. That's your vote of confidence in me and my team. And also please click the like button. That really helps out the YouTube algorithm. And again, that is a vote of you. That is your vote of confidence for the work that me and my team do. Now I had a lot of comments to one of my previous videos about really this topic of uh, federal support for red states versus blue states and I did cover this subject earlier but I've had a lot of comments asking for exactly you know what the breakdown is for the state and local aid and because this is the one thing this is the one thing that's holding up all the stimulus negotiations believe it or not it's it's astonishing that when you know we're talking about over two trillion dollars we're getting hung up in something that contributes to maybe 10 or 15 percent of the total budget uh, in my opinion, this shouldn't be about the red or the blue. This should be about the red, white and blue. This shouldn't be about democratic states or republican states. The, you know, because we're, we're in, you know, we're American. We're, we're American first before we are Democrats or Republicans. So that's my opinion. But a lot of uh, questions have been asked on, you know, hey, is there actually more funding for red states versus blue states? And this was actually reported by CNBC. And on your screen, you'll see an image that shows you the breakdown of the money in the HEROES Act. And remember, the revised version of the HEROES Act had $436 billion for state and local aid. You'll see that if you go by the 2016 election, the amount is $208 billion for blue states and $206 billion for red states. This is the updated version of the HEROES Act. So it's almost identical. In fact, if we considered these uh, these states by current governor, then you would see that it, was, it would be $252 billion for blue states. And on your screen, you'll see that it's $162 billion dollars for red states so as you can see that uh, it's you know it's it's not that far apart when you consider the 2016 electoral college map and you know using that metric i just want to be clear using the metric of uh, democratic governors versus republican governors states headed by democratic governors would indeed get 89 billion dollars more than states headed by republican governors so that is a fact now if we use that metric the average red state will receive about $1,066 per person, according to CNBC, or $322 less than individuals in blue states. So that, that, is, that is the metric that would uh, be in play if we considered states by, by governors. Now, let's take a look at this, uh, this uh, image on your screen, which shows you the HEROES Act per capita contribution uh, for red states versus blue states. Like I mentioned earlier, that would be $1,066 per person uh, for the average red state or $322 less. Uh, in other words, it would be three or $322 less per person than in the blue state. So, you know, again, there's not, you know, the, the, there is a difference, but again, it depends on how you look at it. It depends on how you define red states versus blue states. And fundamentally, I think that all of these all of these subjects shouldn't be about whether the state is red or blue it should be tied to the extent of unemployment in that particular state so let's look at the image again of the of the heroes act per capita of red and blue states i want to emphasize again that as you can see the average red state will receive about $1066 and as you can see on your image it says $1088 per person which is $322 less per person than in blue states blue states would receive $1411 now, I do want to point out that the funding is actually linked to unemployment. It's not linked to red states versus blue states. If you if you closely analyze a summary of the updated version of the HEROES Act that was provided by House Speaker Nancy Pelosi, you will notice that the state funds were allocated according to the state's share of unemployment. They are not allocated as to whether states were red states or blue states. In fact, local and county level funding will be allocated based on a formula which is tied to population and poverty levels as well as unemployment levels. Now, it just so happens that out of these out of the top 10 states that are actually receiving funding four of them voted democrat in 2016 and have democratic governors three voted republican in 2016 and have republican governors the remaining three were actually split so again uh, in fact on your screen we'll show you the top states receiving funds and uh, the cnbc analysis found that every one of the top 10 states ranked by their number of unemployed also ranks in the top 10 as to how much money they would receive as a percentage of total state and local grants. So, you know, this is fundamentally tied to population, tied to poverty levels, tied to unemployment levels. 
you know, I mean, I, I, I wonder how a case is made as to whether it's a, a ba- I quote, a bailout for poorly run democratic states. Again, let's take a look at the top states receiving funds on your screen. You'll see California, New York, Texas, Florida, Illinois. And these are the individuals receiving a majority of the money or receiving more of the money proportionately relative to other states from the the, the money, the $436 billion that's been allocated as a part of the as a part of the entire Heroes Act. California, for example, would receive 14% of the total funds or $59 billion, making it first. But it's also the most populous state, and it's got 2.1 million unemployed individuals. Uh, so that makes it the mo- that that makes it the state with the most number of unemployed individuals across the country. Uh, New York now would would receive an estimated 8.6 percent of the funds. That's what New York would receive, making it second. But it also ranks second amongst the percentage of unemployed individuals. The red state, Texas ranks third in how much it would receive and it is also third in unemployment. So this this essentially goes back to the data and a Trump administration official who actually asked not to be named spoke with CNBC and said that the and the the this administration official focused on the breakdown by governor led states in the CNBC analysis. They didn't look at the 2016 analysis which is an even breakdown, but they focused on the governor specific breakdown and called it I quote a bailout for poorly run blue states the official said that these states have higher unemployment because they have per, they have pursued more restrictive overly restrictive lockdown rules that tend to that tend to cripple growth that is what this official said and the official rejected a connection between lockdowns and a decline in the spread of the pandemic and basically the the official said that the the, the official echoed the administration's position which is that this is a bailout for poorly run democratic states i'm asking you my viewer my subscriber do you believe based on the data that this is a bailout for poorly run democratic states let me know in the comment section below whether you believe that this is a bailout for poorly run democratic states and um, you know it's it's unclear uh, you know where where we are going at this point in time because house speaker pelosi has said that there would have to be a large standalone bill there would be nothing piecemeal and it is uh, inconceivable that the democrats would accept a large bill without aid for state and local and in the words of the administration this is a bailout for poorly run democratic states now the brookings institution estimates a state revenue shortfall from the pandemic of about 500 billion dollars over the next 3 years which uh, which is not which in fact is not going to be covered by the 400 plus billion dollars that is going to be allocated as part of the updated version of the heroes act let me know what you think of the data in this video and let me know if you agree with the administration's assertion that the updated version of the heroes act includes money to bail out poorly run democratic states. I want to know what you think. Thank you for watching everybody. My name is Dr. Nitin Choda with Ignition Time. I really appreciate you taking the time to watch my video. If you don't know anything about me, please check out my video. I have the fortune, the honor, the privilege of living the American dream. I want to help you live your American dream. You'll learn more about who I am, what my journey has been like and why you should listen to me. Now keep in mind, we release videos at 2 p.m. East Coast time most days of the week. That's 2 p.m. East Coast time most days of the week. You can get your cell phone out, send a text message with the word ignition or with the word time to 70,000 that's 70000 this way you'll get added to sms alerts list moving forward you can also get on our email list go to ignitiontime.com forward slash alerts that's ignitiontime.com forward slash alerts to get added to our email list going forward you can opt out of the sms list or the email list at any point in time that you want no problem about that now keep in mind sometimes YouTube does not send out email notifications or notifications uh, through the YouTube application. So what you can do is simply bookmark youtube.com forward slash ignition time. That's youtube.com forward slash ignition time. This way you can visit our homepage and check out our videos at your own convenience. You're not dependent on YouTube notifications. You can also follow us on Instagram for exclusive content on Instagram. Ignition underscore time is our Instagram handle. You can also follow us on Twitter. Our Twitter handle is also ignition underscore time and you can get real time breaking news alerts from us on Twitter much, much faster often than you know when we release these videos. So that's it. Thank you so much, everybody. I'm looking forward to seeing you in the next episode of Ignition Time. Once again, please remember that we release videos at 2 p.m. East Coast time most days of the week and more often if we have breaking news and alerts. Thank you so much. I'll see you in the next episode of Ignition Time. Take care. Bye.